Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Keo from All Things Keo. And I just wanted to give you guys this easy look. Just using a few products. And I did want to show you guys um, some pink concealers that I have. And I wanted to test them out side by side. So this side has Maybelline and this side has the Milani. And um, yeah, if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on these concealers as well as a few other products mentioned, then keep on watching. Okay, so I just wanted to do this video um, just with some products that I've been loving. I know everybody's been going crazy over like the pink blushes and I wanted to show this one from ColourPop. It's really beautiful and also, I wanted to mention um, LA Girls Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. If you're anything like me where you don't know what shade you are or sometimes you're a little bit too neutral or a little bit warmer than the neutral that you get, these are going to come in handy. A lot of times I find my undertone, but the shade is always darker. So um, if you mix a little bit of the white, that will help it. So yeah. And let's get into it. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. primer with 4% niacinamide in it. And this is supposed to like brighten the skin underneath your makeup. So it's, it's the niacinamide, I believe, is supposed to like help your pigmentation. Let me take my nose ring out too. And I always like putting these primers in my eyebrows just as like a, like, look at that. <laughs> I will be doing some color correcting using the LA Girl um, HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Yellow Corrector. So my skin has been better. I don't really have many breakouts, but I do have lots of dark spots from the previous breakouts unfortunately um that's usually my problem it's not usually that i have so many um, pimples but it's just how they leave and i do have hyperpigmentation around here so i'm just going to color correct that i'm going to go in with this she glam um brush it's a, con a concealer brush and i just usually use that to just blend out this um color corrector All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the ELF Light 280 Neutral. And I believe this one was just a little bit too, I wanna say it was a little bit too dark. Let me see. That's a thing. It's like, I feel like it looks close, but then once I blend it out, it's like a little bit too dark. So I'm going to put one little pump of the, the white and mix the two and see. All right, now let's put that next. Yeah, see? I think that's better. So here was without the white and here's with just a little dab of the white. Sometimes I have some foundations that are too neutral and I might need it to be a little bit um, more warm. Like in the summer, when I start to tan, I feel like I get a little bit more warm. So, And I do love these Camo um, CC creams by e.l.f. Like they really killed it. I've been, I've been using them for some time now probably like two years, and they really killed it. And I have also the shade Light 240, which I used to mix with the medium 330W, and this is 240W. So I used to mix these two together, but I feel like the neutral suits me a little bit better. And I totally forgot... 
I totally forgot to put this underneath, so I'm just gonna put some in the mix too. So this is the light shade. I'm gonna see. I think that's too light. You know, I think if I would have used the light with the camo, it would have been perfectly fine. So I'm gonna throw some medium just around here. And don't be like me, put these first. These are supposed to go under your foundation. They're the Halo Glow Liquid Filter and it's a glow booster. So I have it in light and I have it in light medium. No, hold on. I have it in light medium and medium. So the medium will probably be better for when I'm tan and I actually have a tan. Your girl is pale. This is me literally pale, no tan, so. The light one might have worked with the neutral, um, the camel, and I probably would have not needed to put the white shade in there. But you learn. Let's blend this out. It's funny because usually when I do my foundation, I feel like I always have like this this darker tan mask on and i think i've i think i finally figured out you know the trick to not having that issue and definitely this is worth it like this is one fluid ounce i literally used one little pump you know everybody's using like those little triangle puff puff thingies but I've been using this. This is the e.l.f. blender and like I probably have like three of these that I just keep using. Once it starts to look crusty, I'll throw it away. Um, next. So next, everybody's been raving about these pink concealers. Um, I've been using mine. I've used this in the past like 2009 2010 this was my jam this one and the yellow shade the neutralizer if you know you know but i don't see a lot of people mentioning this one the milani um this is in the shade 01 rose it's conceal perfect under eye brightener so i did notice with the milani one it is a lot more hydrating so on the left i'm going to use milani and on the right i will use maybelline And clearly I have severe dark circles. So I do like the Milani packaging because you're able to just squeeze the tube. Where this one you have to like crank it up. Back in the day, the trick was to remove the sponge and you'll be able to get all the product. But I'm trying to try it out this way for now. But I very well might. gonna do the same with this side you can see the difference I have dark circles versus the pink and this side is Maybelline And it's so pink under my eyes. Oh my gosh. And then this side is, um, so I blended it with this side. I'm just going to flip it over and blend with the other side. And this is Milani. So I do feel like the this side right here where I put the Maybelline, it is a little bit more full coverage than this side where I put Milani. So, if you're looking for more coverage, definitely the Maybelline. Um, we'll see how they wear underneath. Um, and I just want to add a little bit of my yellow. Or should I just keep the pink? You know what? I'm just going to put a little bit more of the pink. We're going to keep it pink. Okay. 
give this one a little bit more. Reason why I'm just sticking with the pink is because I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Um, <clears throat> the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and it is in the pink shade. They have a pink shade, and I love the packaging. Like, I love the fact that it closes because I use the Maybelline. You guys know I've been using the Fit Me powder for years, years and years. So let's see, put some on the cap and it's not very like to me, it's not like the, it's not like a bam pink in your face, but it's definitely um, has pink in there. And the reason why I do want one of those little triangle thingies is because I want to see if it's it actually sets the powder under my eyes better. And I'm going to set my face and I'm going to be using the Fit Me 235 Pure Beige. And these Fit Me powders are really nice. So I have one for under the eye. And then I have one like, like a bronzer shade. go in with the actual bronzer shade. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild throwback brush. I like it because it just, it's like it places it. And I'm using the shade 335, uh, 335 Coconut. And that's what I'm going to be using. And it's such a pretty bronzer shade. And it's going to give you like that mattifying effect doesn't have any shimmer because this is a setting powder but I'm loving it um, as bronzer and it's such a pretty shade And this brush just gives you a little bit more control. Okay, I just put too much on this side, so I'm just gonna blend a little bit out. And this is, I think, up. This is probably like to set your face, but it's clean. I washed it, and I just using it to blend. I have this from Juvia's Place, and I have this one from ColourPop. And they're not the same. You know what? No. I'm just going to try out the... Oh, I have raved. I have raved about this one. And this one is equally as pretty. This one, I think, might be a closer dupe to the Dior. But again, we will never know because I am not spending that much money <laughs> on... I'm not spending that much money on a on a blush. So I'm just gonna and this one you do have to build it up. It's super pretty. I'm just gonna do a swatch because I think I went too heavy on the bronzer, so I just wanna swatch it for you guys. And that's how it looks. That's how it's looking. So if you own the Dior and you think this is a good match, 
This one is ColourPop's Prairie Air. Super pretty. I like to do my brows first, but I want to just show you guys this Essence um, Lash Primer. Essence is such an inexpensive brand. It's like $4, $5, like that. Um, and I just want to crimp them first. I always crimp for. I'm going to crimp. I'll crimp this side and I'll leave the other side as is just to see if it makes a difference. Okay. I'm just kind of like playing today since I had a little bit of time. And I never used to use these like primers on my lashes, um, but I love to um, experiment and try new things, especially when it's inexpe inexpensive. All right, while I let this dry, I'll go and do my brows. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Pencil. This is old. I had two of them and I just, I need to use it. So a lot of this stuff, I just, I need to keep using it. So then you just... I love how everyone does like the feathered look, but I have so much brows and I feel like I would have to do like the lamination, like relax them because they're very hard. So it's not easy to just, just get that feather look. Um, if I use like the got to be like the thing I use for my baby hairs, it would work perfectly. And then I'm using this um, NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch in Espresso. Um, and it's just, it looks like almost like an eyeliner, but. Great. And then now I'm going to use. The mascara that a lot of people are raving about. I'm no stranger to Essence. I love Essence. This is the Essence. I love Extreme Crazy Volume. I have loved the Princess ones. This one and this one. This has been the one I've been using recently. This one's a little bit older. I might need to get rid of it already. So yeah, what do you think? It's just one coat of the primer and passing over again. I usually don't do like two coats. I'm not a two coat kind of girl. I just do one coat and that's it, I keep it moving. But the primer is kind of um, acting as one coat. So, and I like that it doesn't have like so much product where it's like, I know with the princess one, when you first get it and it's new, a lot of product comes out. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. This one is really nice. And I do feel like this one's a little bit more intense than the princess one. So it's definitely my new go-to. I'm just gonna use the bit of honey butter gloss. This is so pretty, like. These butter glosses, like don't sleep on them for $5. All right, so this is the final look. I don't know what you guys think. Um, Like I mentioned, this eye has Maybelline. This one has the Milani, the pink. Um, I use the e.l.f. glow filter in light, medium, and medium. And then I also used 
um, my camo 16 wear and I mixed it with a little bit of that white. So it gave me pretty much my color, I feel like. Usually I go in and I like uh, use the Fit Me to set under here, but I feel like it looks good. This under eye, is it natural? No, it's not. And I remember back in the day, people used to always be like, girl, your under eye is way too bright. Um, but nobody could tell me anything. I loved my under eye like that. And I am happy to see it make a comeback, honestly. This Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, don't sleep on it. This is so good. The Milani, um, I haven't tested it out enough to know if I like it better. I feel like, I do feel like the Maybelline is a little bit brighter, maybe because it's a little bit more full coverage. So I think if you have less dark circles than me, also if you're a lighter uh, skin tone than me, then they're gonna work for you. I am tan. I like to say I'm light, medium tan. Um, I don't have a tan right now. This is just my skin tone. But I do feel like this is just a little bit more, it is high, a little bit more hydrating. Um, and this one is a little bit drier, but this one is more full coverage. So if you're looking for more full coverage, if you do have significant dark circles, this one is going to be your friend. This one will work for you. Um, you might have to just build it up. Or if you are a lighter skin tone than me and you don't have problems with dark circles as I do, then this one will work for you as well. The packaging on this one is definitely better because you're able to squeeze the tube where this one you have to like crank it up. And yeah, um, I feel like I've gone through, like I've used about this much already. So I feel like I use a lot of this one where this one lord look at that this this is the one problem with this packaging is you have to make sure you you get all the product before you close it let me clean it really quick that could be a con for some people as far as the squeeze tube goes um it is a little bit more messier because a lot of product can come out um but Apart from that, there is a con uh, there is pros to it. You know, you're able to get all the products. You're able to squeeze it out. Um, um, and then I don't know the the Elf setting powder. It feels really nice. I kind of want to try it with my like my regular concealer. Um, you know, I stay faithful to the Elf camo. I don't know. I, I'm such a drugstore girl and I feel like Elf, I love Elf. I love Maybelline. I love Essence has been the newest fave. But definitely, I kind of want to try, I definitely want to try um, that powder, the pink powder over top my yellow um, concealer and see how I like it. It does look pretty nice. Um, I do naturally have just kind of wrinkly under eyes um and that's okay but I don't know so and I'm still going on a hair journey I've been growing my hair out um I think since taking my vitamins my hair does look a lot better I think it's starting to fill up which I'm so thankful for um I know a lot of women did suffer with hair loss due to COVID and it was very stressful, but, you know, I think if you stick with a regimen, a vitamin regimen, then I think you might be good. Um, but consult with your doctor and maybe they might recommend something else. I am also taking spirulactin for other health reasons. And my cousin did tell me that that helps also with hair, um, thickening your hair, but she said that she experienced a little bit more loss before she started getting the thicker hair. So I'm about a month in and it is for like my acne. So, um, and other reasons, but hopefully, you know, my Afro will thicken up. Um, I definitely feel like it has gotten better compared to how it was a few months ago. This is probably day three day three and I haven't washed my hair 
I just keep putting more um, leave-in conditioner in it and keep it moving. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below some of the products that you like and other, um, you know, other things that you think I might be able to try and I might like. So yeah. And God bless you.